going on guys and thank you so much for tuning in so guys i hope everyone has been well i took a few days off to myself because i felt like i was getting like cabin fever just being stuck in the house so i'm like let me just get back into my mental groove but let's see what is going on so this is going to be today's daily energy for monday may 11th now at the end guys we will do a pick a card so that'll be your personalized guidance for today all right so let's see what the energy is now this deck that i'm using is Witch's Tarot. All right. What is today's daily energy? Monday, May 11th. Happy birthday to anyone who has a birthday today, Squad Life. So we have the Page of Swords reversed, we have the Magician here, and we have the Chariot. So we'll start off with that, okay? The energy that you guys have or that we all have for today, Ten of Swords reversed. Now when you have that Ten of Swords reversed energy, it's showing that the worst that you could have gone through in a situation has passed you, but it could be that somebody is unhappy about the way something um, you know, occurred and they're taking a slow and steady approach with it. Now something could have caused a sense of arguing or maybe you stopped talking to someone maybe they stopped talking to you but i see something that's going to be manifested where it really takes off very quickly for some people this could be something that has to do with travel but most likely it's going to be something you're very in control of okay we have the page of cups we have the full card nice let's get one more and we have the ten of swords in the reverse again so yeah, someone is just very excited about something they're getting into. It's something that they speak about with passion. It's something that's probably being offered in like a really nice and kind way. And there was something here that would have blocked you from this blessing, but you guys are avoiding whatever that is. I just feel as though someone's upset about something that was revealed about a new beginning that you guys are getting into. But there's something that's going to be manifested today, guys. And with this full energy, this is going to be something that feels completely new. This is going to be something that feels like unmarked territory for you. So yeah, you're taking off and the worst that you could have dealt with and something is past you. All right. So think of a card, guys, one, two, or three, and that's going to be your personalized guidance for today. And I always say listen to all three because it's still going to give you some advice for the day. But pay most attention to your card placement. All right, so think of a card, one, two, or three. So we have one, two, and three. All right, so if you guys chose card number one, you got the High Priestess. All right, so you guys gotta be really, really in tune. When this card comes out, this is someone who really knows the truth of the situation. They don't need proof. They don't need any sort of, you know, visual proof. They don't need any sort of recordings, nothing like that. It's just something they know deep down in their soul. And you know that there's something at this point that you have to lose faith in, okay? We have the hangman in the verse here. So it's something that just doesn't feel natural for you guys anymore. It's something where you can amicably put it in the past. Like it doesn't have to be a person that you're fighting or, you know, a situation that you come out of in a problematic way. You just know something doesn't serve you. Why is this high priestess here? We have the nine of wands. And we have the temperance card. So listen to your soul, guys. With that temperance card and that high priestess, you're very, very in tune in a very strong way. So it's just saying to stand your ground, okay? Definitely stand your ground because you could be in a situation where you feel tired, where it's just like, you know, am I going to get to the next step? Am I going to be able to get over this hill? You're right at that point, right before a breakthrough. So just know that that breakthrough is coming in soon and you have to focus. Something or someone was not a good idea in your life, okay? All right, so if you guys chose card number two, we have the two of pentacles in the reverse. So this is when we make some sort of decision that brings us balance or there's just balance in general. We have the empress card. Let's pull one more here. 
and we have the page of swords so you guys are balanced in this new beginning that you're taking on um for some people this could have to do with pregnancy for others this is just something new that you you're gonna have to tend to on like a daily basis so it's not gonna be you know um think of it as like a garden you can't just plant the seed and walk away you're gonna plant the seed you're gonna water you're gonna talk to the plant whatever you have to do make sure it has sunlight so this is something that you're going to be, I feel like you're excited about this, um, a new beginning that you can put a lot into, but it will take work. With this Page of Swords energy here, don't be afraid to speak your mind. Have a very strong backbone. This is someone who thinks clearly, speaks clearly. Um, they're able to organize things in a way that really makes sense, okay? But again, there's something with too much burden that you're letting go of. So you know exactly what it is that you guys have to do, so go after it. Because there's just some sort of injustice that you just don't want to deal with anymore, okay? All right, so last card, number three. If you guys chose this, we have the Three of Swords. So this could talk about heartbreak. This could talk about a disappointment. Why is this Three of Swords here? We have the Three of Cups. Those are literally opposing energies. One is heartbreak, the other is celebration. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So someone's going to be disappointed that you know, someone is getting into a new beginning. So again, there's something that needs to be dropped here. And this is going to be exciting. And whatever is coming in is going to be something that's in your life long term. If this has to do with business at all, this could be something that really generates generational wealth. So something strong is coming in. But yeah, that three of swords, someone's disappointed by this. So I see two sides to this. Someone being disappointed because of an ending, although they're exciting, excited about a new beginning. Ace of Wands reversed. All right, so being hurt about something that's no longer in your life, but knowing that you can celebrate something good, okay? So with the approach that you guys want to take, if you chose card number three, Queen of Swords, someone who's thinking logically and not so much with their heart right now, because again, um, you just have to get through that disappointment so you can really, really enjoy this new beginning, all right? Okay, guys, if you guys need absolutely anything from me, a personal reading, if you want to make a donation, anything like that, I have all of that information in the description below. But let me get my butt to work, guys, since I have taken a few days off, and that's never a good thing for me. <laughs> Take care.